Let's discuss the summary of The Snake in the Mirror by Waikam Muhammad Bashir. It is the story of a doctor who has just started his medical practice. He earns a meager income and lives in a small rented room which is an outhouse with a tiled roof. The beam on which the gable is supported is full of rats which keep moving in and out of the room. The room has no electricity supply. One summer night, the doctor takes his dinner at a restaurant and returns home. As the doctor opens the door of his room, he hears a noise from above, but he does not react because he is used to such noises. He lights the kerosene lamp, takes off his coat, shirt and vest and opens the windows. He takes out a medical book from the table drawer to read. He keeps it on the table on which a lamp, a large mirror and a small comb are placed. He opens the book and sits down. As he is sitting in a chair in front of the mirror, he looks at his image. He thinks that as he is not married and is a doctor too, he should look handsome to get a better match for himself. He decides to shave daily, grow a thin mustache and keep an attractive smile on his face. Gradually, his thoughts shift from self-admiration to planning for his marriage. He thinks that he would marry a rich doctor having a good practice. He would choose a fat lady as his wife so that she would not be able to run fast and catch him in case she chases him for doing some mistakes. He is so engrossed in daydreaming that he does not pay attention to the sudden silence. The rats have stopped scampering and there is a sound of something falling behind him. It happens so instantly that he does not get any time to react. By the time he turns around to see, a snake has wriggled over the back of the chair and lands on his shoulders. It coils around his left arm so firmly that his arm starts aching. It is a dangerous cobra with its hood spreading out hardly three inches from his face. He sits there like a stone statue, afraid to move, lest the snake may bite him. He thinks of various medicines he has to take in case the snake bites him. In this moment of fear of death, he realizes that God has punished him for being too proud and arrogant. The moment he accepts his true worth, the snake turns his head and looks into the mirror. The doctor thinks that maybe the snake is attracted towards its own beauty, that is why it is looking so carefully in the mirror. Slowly it crawls off his body and creeps onto the table and moves towards the mirror as if to enjoy its reflection in the mirror closely. As soon as the snake gets down from him, he quietly gets up from the chair, leaps through the yard and runs away to his friend's house. The next day, in the morning, the doctor along with his two friends goes to his room to bring out his belongings from there. The room has been cleaned out. Some thief had removed most of his things the previous night and left behind only his dirty vest, maybe to insult him. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to our channel.